What's going on guys? Dan with PC Tech Hustle coming at you with another video. Uh, today we're going to do just a quick little video of how to fix GPU sag. Specifically we'll talk just quickly about what is it as you can see here um, and how to fix it. We uh, have a product from up here so let's take a look at this product real quick and see what it will do to help uh, this saggy situation here. So real quickly, I just wanted to show what I'm dealing with here. So this is my last budget build, um, and I actually haven't sold it yet, so I wanted to do something that I could fix this uh, GPU sag that we have going on. Something cheap, uh, maybe under in, in the $10 range. Uh, nothing too crazy, because I didn't really want to add a lot of extra um, cost to the build, but as you can see, I'm gonna push up on where it becomes level. So there is a very, very heavy amount of sag with this particular card. Um, I've used this card before and I've had the same issue. I think a lot of it, it has to do with just the orientation of the cooler. As you can see, there's a lot of heft in the back here. You got this big, massive heat pipe. We still have heat sink all the way to the back of the reference of the card. So um, it's definitely sagging quite heavily. Um, I figured, well, you know, I can, since I haven't sold the build yet, and um, I figured there'd be, this could be something I could do to kind of fix this up a little bit and make it look one a little nicer by eliminating the sag. And with up here's product, it, it'll kind of tie in with the build as we'll see here. So we'll take a look at that here real quick and, just, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see what we got here. This is the up here um, GPU anti-sag bracket. I got it on Amazon. Uh, I think for the absolute cheapest version of this product, it goes for like $6.99. It's black. Uh, although that would have been probably fine for me. I figured, well, let me get something blue that kind of ties in with the uh, the aesthetics of the of the board and the LEDs and all that stuff. So take it out of the bag here. So this is basically what you get. It is a it is a piece of aluminum, I believe. It's a pretty light feeling, but the good thing with this is I didn't want to get a plastic one because I feel like had I gotten a plastic one, it would have just introduced the same level of sag and isn't rigid enough to really hold the GPU up where it needs to be. So I mean, this is basically all you get in the box, so nothing else in there. And then it comes with a bag of screws and some uh, rubber dampeners or pieces of rubber that we can put on the, uh, the bracket to hold it kind of safely in place uh, while supporting the GPU. So, um, I'll just, I'm going to quickly pan around to kind of show, give you a quick idea of what I'm talking about as far as where I'm going to put the bracket or how it will kind of look before we do it. So pick this guy up and basically this is what we're, what we're looking at. It's going to go tuck in underneath. I'm going to have to probably move my PCIe cable there out of the way for the moment. So I'll disconnect that and then this will hold it up from underneath to uh, give it some more rigidity. So hopefully uh, that all works out and we can uh, fix this nasty sag problem that we have going on here. So let's get cracking on that. So in theory, all you should really need for this install is a screwdriver. So I kind of already eyeballed it good thing about this case is I can actually stick the bracket in from the back and kind of exactly see where it needs to be so kind of line it up so I'm thinking what I need is probably to just back off the screws I have right now and just kind of uh, well I'm gonna have to completely back them off <clears throat> not sure if I'm gonna have enough length actually I'll probably I'll just use the provided screws which they give you four of so let's back off the current GPU screws. One and two. Ooh, even more sag. 
Wow. So I was helping at least with the provided screws for the case. It's not enough. All right. So what we're saying is we kind of want something like that. So I'm gonna try to feed this screw back in with my left hand. Just want to get this started. Kinda, that's, here's the difficult part, holding things in place. Okay, we are threading. So I'd suggest like, yeah, you kind of get it where you want it and then thread the screws in as you go. So there's the top screw in. So yeah, we definitely need more. Looking like <clears throat> there's a pivot point down low right here. So I'm gonna put that one in next. looking pretty good hopefully after I tighten this one up a little bit of sag still I mean this may not make it absolutely perfect but if it looks better I'm okay with that now I'm probably sagging due to the flimsiness of the case metal which it is very flimsy in this particular case I'm just gonna put in this middle screw to for peace of mind so that definitely looks I mean, there's a there's a hair bit of sag still let's pop on the rubber pieces probably maybe should have done that before I'm trying to see where I need to do that here this actually might help push it up just a hair bit more Make sure it's not in a fan. Not looking like it. Honestly, I don't know if I want to put on a second. Well, you know what? Yeah, I think that's good. Just having the one. Make sure the fan spin without competing. I think that looks pretty good. I'll definitely uh, get a before and after shot too and put that in here so we can see, you'll see that in the live sense. But I think that's uh, about as good as it's gonna get at least for this case, this building situation. Okay, so let me take you in and take a look at what we got as the final product. We got the bracket installed. As you can see, I definitely, there was some adjustments made that shoved the bracket up and ultimately shoved the GPU up. So there's still a ever so hair bit of sag, but the good thing is it's not sagging on the PCIe slot anymore or pulling on the motherboard where the weight is now transferred is on this bracket, which is effectively what we want, right? Alrighty guys, so quick and easy fix. Um, it's not the absolute perfect solution. There are some pricier uh, GPU brackets that you can get that actually kind of just take the edge of the card and kind of shove it up, which effectively I did. Uh, but for something that you don't want to spend, heck, more than 10 bucks on, like I said, I think the flat black one of this uh, bracket is like six bucks. I think this one was, oddly enough, for some reason, the colored ones are, are a little more expensive. So this one was like, I think 9.99. So adds 
perfectly to the aesthetic of the build, being some, uh, some blue accents that are already on the motherboard and some blue LEDs. As you can see, I've got <clears throat> the PC running and we are not binding up anywhere on fans and for the GPU. And most importantly, this protects the GPU slot and uh, it, mainly the PCIe slot. So we're not yanking down in that area, potentially damaging it. And uh, you know, we want something that'll last long term, especially if I'm building this for someone I want to sell it to. It gives me good peace of mind that I in giving them a product that they can rely on. I don't want, I, even though I may not know the person, I want to make sure that they're getting a 100% you know, good product for me. And this is all said and done with just a screwdriver. So uh, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I've definitely got more things coming at you as far as uh, another budget build. Um, and uh, definitely, uh, I definitely recommend this product from up here. It's definitely a, a good solution to uh, a fix uh, for a very small amount of money. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.